Oh, man, it's been a lot of fun, a, a lot of fun. Uh, this was my first time ever in the state of Arkansas, so I really didn't know what to expect, but it's been great. It's been great here. The people, the people in Fayetteville, it's unbelievable. And your connections to Eric Musselman, obviously, coach, coach you and yes. you're at Golden State, and then obviously when he was an assistant for the Orlando Magic. What was that experience like, just being able to develop that relationship with him? Muss is actually a great guy. Uh, I think he gets a bad reputation because of the intensity that he coaches with. But off the court, you know, he, he's, he's a great guy. He's a great guy. And when he reached out to me, it was an opportunity to learn. He, he's a brilliant, brilliant mastermind. He knows the game of basketball in and out. And it was an opportunity for me to come here and help him turn, turn his program around and get back to the winning ways. What he said, I believe, last week or the previous week was, you see this through a different lens, being a former NBA player. So when you hear him say that, how would you describe that? It's true. I've always viewed basketball different from, from everyone else who's actually played or coached the game. And it's mainly because of my height. You know, when you're 5'5 when you're five, five and you make it to the NBA, you view things differently. You view things differently. And, you know, I've always been positive, but I've always been realistic about, you know, my, my career as a player, but also now as a coach. Second shortest player in NBA history. But yet, when you went on the court, you once said, actually said it multiple times, I felt like each time I'm the best player on the floor. I have to go about it that way. Always, always. I've always believed that, you know, even at a young age, I believe I was going to play in the NBA. There was never a doubt in my mind. I can remember fifth, sixth grade, me talking to my friends about what they wanted to do. And, you know, they would all look at me and say, you know, what do you want to do? I thought I was going to be an NBA player. And, you know, I've always had that type of confidence. And as I became better in basketball, my confidence just grew. I thought it was really interesting just watching tape of you and, and seeing how crafty you had to be with the basketball. How much are you able to convey that to the guys here on campus? You know, if it is a scenario where you are undersized, this is an undersized team here at Arkansas this season. Yes. How do you convey that to the best of your ability? I think the most important thing you know, including for me, but any player that's undersized is you have to master the fundamentals. And it goes back when I was in high school, I actually, when we would do breakdown drills, I actually did drills with big guys. I worked out with post players in high school. And my high school coach thought that it was important for me to develop, you know, the fundamentals, how to post up as a guard. And I learned it in high school, and it's the same footwork that you use on the perimeter as far as reverse pivots, knowing how to shoot off your right leg, knowing how to shoot off your left leg. These are things that I learned at a young age. And this team here, we're gonna to have to be good at the fundamentals of basketball, rebounding the basketball, don't turn the ball over, take good shots. The little things are what we're gonna to have to, you know, sort of master in order to make up the difference that we have in lack of size. Yeah, what about that when you typically are going with a four guard lineup? How can that work in your favor, given the personnel you guys have this season? I think it definitely gives us a huge advantage at the offensive end. I don't think it's going to be a lot of teams that are able to match up with us offensively, especially with Mason playing the four. He's, he's a natural three, but when you play him at the four, someone has to step away from the basket in order to defend him. Defensively, though, we're going to have a challenge of we have to, you know, gang rebound. Everyone shot goes up, everyone must box out. We can't have any guys trying to leak out, and it's going to be a conservative effort to actually hold teams to one shot. If we're able to do that, we'll be okay. Love the NBA experience that is on the staff. What's it like working every day with Moss and Clay and, and Crotch and Corey? It's great to be around guys that actually understand basketball. And you know, up in that basketball office, it's a lot of a lot of basketball wisdom. And so for me, this is my first year coaching at the collegiate level. To be around guys with that type of experience, both in the NBA and college, is, is absolutely amazing for myself.